Hi, we're the Purple Pandas, and we're here today to present our wonderful product, Ripe Site. So without further ado, let's let the presentation begin. All right, our product, Ripe Site, is AI that scans fruit and vegetables to see whether they are spoiled or fresh. Uh, food labeled uh, fresher rotten from classified images that we've all inputted. Uh, recipe suggestions are also generated to if people want an added bonus. To create our homepage and our general website, we just use CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. We also added a bunch of cool animations onto our website using CSS um, frame. Uh, and then we also added a functional navigational bar on the top to navigate different pages like login. Um, we used Firebase's API to receive and save our passwords and usernames. And when we used Bycrypt to hash our passwords to prevent them from being stolen. We utilized a form login system to check passwords against a secure backend database. So um, we used a web scraper to extract a bunch of recipes from all, re all recipes, which is a website with a bunch of recipes. And we then linked the recipes to our website and put them all like in the database. And we made um, a little search bar so you can search for like Apple and we give you a bunch of recipes for Apple. We also used, um, we also incorporated an LP, NLP project um, known as the Valorous Vampires. Um, their project was to generate um, recipes. So if you didn't like the recipes that came up, you can always click the drop down button to um, get a, a free, um, cool, uh, generated recipe. All right. So, in uh, the way that we acquired all of our images for our data set, is we mainly used Kaggle databases to acquire large amounts of online images really quickly. But there were only a few decent Kaggle bait databases that gave us enough rotten and ripe fruit or vegetables, as we had 20 different categories, 10 being ripe, 10 being rotten. To add the needed amount of images per category, we used web scraping tools in order to get even more, probably thousands of images online to get um, to add to our database to make it more accurate. After this, we augmented our data, basically meaning that we took our labeled data that we labeled manually and we and we used the already present labels and put them on the image. But then we use an image editor software to change the data in slight ways, such as rotating the data, blocking out parts of the image or moving the position to train the AI only on what matters on the image. Like what Kaiden said earlier, uh, through the partnership of one of the NLP groups, we incorporated their recipe generator into our search bar. They use a TensorFlow model that takes in a list of ingredients as an input and returns a list of steps. On the side here is an example of chicken fingers. So we used two algorithms. So we use YOLO v5 as our primary CV algorithm and RoboFlow as our secondary algorithm. Uh, for our website, we used Flask to integrate the front end of using HTML and CSS and the back end, which was our, which we, pri <clears throat> we programmed using Python and also connected our machine learning model to. And for our user login system, we used it, we used Fire, the Firebase API to store information. Um. So we had some roadblocks relating to bugs and typos in our code, but our main issues were underestimating the time that it would take to set up Firebase and Ajax, as well as that our data set having some underrepresentation. We combated these issues with time management and focused work to get the Ajax and Firebase added and fixing our model. So um, our YOLO v5 model accuracy was around 7,000 images. So at an astonishing 9.8 AP, which means you could think our model has like a 90% accuracy. So yeah, uh, any questions before we get onto the website? Nope, all right, let's do that. So let me share my screen again to this website.
Alright, so let's start from the top. So let me refresh. Okay, so starting from the top, we have our task the bar up top, which you can go to different pages. And we got like a cool little animation. Let me show you again. That um cool little animations that um I'm pretty sure Brett did. And we have a little bit about uh what bright side is. He explains it right here. And you can upload an image, which I'll get to in a second. And we have like um meet the team. So everybody made a little card about themselves. For example, Ryan, he was a back end and front end developer and shows a little self something about him. So yeah. So let's upload an image. So let's upload, for example, a uh, not so good looking banana. So when you upload it, it says raw banana. You shouldn't probably eat bananas that look like this. That's what our AI, AI thinks. So let's try some other stuff. For example, a good looking tomato. So I upload that. It says a right tomato too. And it says what I found. And let's do one more. Let's make sure. Let's do a fresh, um, a fresh um, orange, and this is a ripe orange. So yeah, um, I'll let uh, Brett take it from here, and yeah. All right, let me share my screen real quick. Okay, so I'm going to be presenting my part of the project. So in addition to being able to scan ripe and rotten fruit, in order to uh, decide whether it's ripe or rotten, as well as identify it, we added the ability to actually search for different recipes based on what fruit are in there. And we gathered these recipes from all recipes, as well as using uh, Valoria's Vampire's um, NLP model to generate recipes. So see, if I search something, um, if I put potato, and you can separate it with commas to put, it, it basically acts as an or operator or a tomato click off of this. You'll see that it has these um, search results here, as well as the AI generated recipe. If I click on this, you can see that it generates an AI recipe. Um, now the AI generated recipe uh, comes from their NLP model API, and these come directly from our database. So if I click on one of these uh, links, then it takes you to a website uh, where it basically shows you the recipe. And we'll get to this uh, functionality just in a second here. All right, so in addition to being able to search for things, we also uh, integrated login and, and account creation into our website securely using Firebase. So basically, if I create an account, I'm gonna walk you through the whole idea. So if I use a, uh, this is a test one that I made, and this is already created. So if I try to create an account with an already uh, taken username, and I create the account, it says account creation failed. Um, now, if I come back to this website here um, and I make a new uh, username and password, let's just call it test user. Let me put this here. Then we can create it and it creates the account. Now, if we come over to login, if we just put something random here, nothing happens. Um, but if we put, what was it, test user and password, I believe then we can log in. Now what the login allows us to do is if we go to recipes and we search something up, so if we search up potato, or, well, let's do uh, apple, banana, orange, because that's the one that I have saved. So if I come down somewhere around here and I like this recipe, then I can actually save it to my website so that I can easily access it by clicking this. And you can see it on this website. If I click this, I come over to favorite recipes, you'll see that it now appears here as an iframe image. Um, now, this is at the moment all the functionality that login has. Uh, as you can see, if I come back here, I put in the same thing. You can actually come here, favorite this, favorite recipe. It comes in here, um, and you can have multiple recipes saved at the same time. Um, one thing that I would wish to add, if we did indeed have more time, is the ability to actually save your scans um, from this so that we could have almost a nutrition log kind of thing so you could just easily scan your fruit. Also integrating this into an app would be very interesting. Um, and I think to do this, we should have better maybe modeled our times so that we would have had more time to get to this stuff um, because the login and account creation was addressed almost at the very end of the project. I believe that that is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your time.